Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm gonna show you how to create your first website. Pretty super simple. I'm gonna show you the tools that I use and the simple steps to apply it. The only thing I'm not really going to show you is how to get the hosting, which I'll show in another video or something like that later. You can look that up. But essentially once you have your .com from a hosting provider, you can simply use something like Google Domains, just so you know, Google Domains and select the first one right here. And then inside of here, you'd want to, you know, I'm already signed in. So you're gonna to wanna to select one of these options and then just add like whatever .com you want. And then there's hosting through there that you can do, but we'll cover that more. So going back to the actual website design part, we are using WordPress for this. So that is the back end. So for like from your hosting provider, they have the capability to run WordPress. And once it's live, you can log into the WordPress. So what you want to do is forward slash WP like this admin and hit enter. And then it's going to load either what you have in, you'll refresh so you won't have this information, but this is the dashboard you want to use to log into your site on the back end. So you can actually design it and have a base. So what we're gonna do is take this here. I'll update this password later so you DGENs can't just take it. I think you're slick. So you can just hit update right here cause that will update it for this.com. Now again, this is a very basic front that we see to the world. Anybody can access this for example, but I'm gonna show you how to easily implement a template and then you can go on and build it from there. And we'll cover more videos later. So here's a little bit more updated one, I guess, that they gave us once I refreshed it, which was funny, but whatever. So we wanna click right here. And by the way, if this dashboard was missing, like this admin bar at the top, just refresh your page again, and then you'll have this. This will allow you to navigate. And as we add some more stuff, they'll be added up here, which is how you'll actually edit on the page here. So you wanna click in here. You want to click on plugins and we want to go to add new right here and we are actually going to search for Astra so A-S-T-R-A and it's going to give you this this is what you want to start with number one this is going to have all your templates and kind of the page builders underneath the templates and you can get like pro on top of that where they'll offer more advanced designs, then you can build off of that and change photos, titles, descriptions, things like that. So you want to hit install. Okay. Installed. Hit activate. And I think we should be good there. We want to come over to plugins again. So click it right here. Oh, okay. Perfect. So don't click it. Just wait a little bit. I apologize. And then that's going to actually give you this builder here. We don't want to use the AI one. This is new. I haven't really played with it. I like traditionally choosing the classic starter templates. So just build with templates. And this is really important. We don't want that and we do not want that. This is all we want. We want to use Elementor as our page builder. So please understand that. Very important. And it's a lot easier, trust me. So with this, you'll see many different types of templates you can use as a base. So the way I kind of look at this is what type of service or offering I'm, I'm looking to get to market and then how close can one of these base templates represent that. So that way kind of, I don't have to do as much work ideally as how I look, cause I have to scale, I have to do thousands of sites in a year. So it doesn't make sense for me to spend more than 10, 15 minutes looking at a potential or maybe like five or seven different types of designs. Uh, one thing you'll notice is like the premiums that's you have to get astra premium templates which you can look that up us through the google or whatever uh, for the sake of this this site is called actually adlabs33.com so i was thinking to actually show later how to start your own google ads and run it to the site for example so let me just pick something kind of basic i'm just going to type digital mark digital here and they'll give me some like baselines around this market. I'm gonna go with this one, this is pretty cool. That's premium. 
I don't really want to activate live, so I'll just pick something else for now. This works for now. Um, it's digital products, a little bit different, so let me just go with this one. I can work with this one a bit better probably. So if you just click this, you can actually view the way it's going to look for you, like as an example. We can play with this pretty good probably. I like the highlights there. And it's just the demo version. Um, so what we can do here, let's scroll down a little bit more. This works for me for now. And just hit continue. And then you don't have to worry about filling this out. This is all mostly pretty important. It should just by default be enabled. If you notice, it installs required plugins. So like what it required to run this site functionally mostly. You have to set up some settings, but that's what training experiences is. So this is going to try to set this up. Usually takes about 15 seconds. Almost done. Setting up all the dependencies here. There you go, 29 seconds. So now we can go view the site. There you go. So now, instead of it being the, the old one, you have this one. And I think this one actually comes probably with e-commerce enabled as well since there's like this cart here so yeah there you go um, if you wanted to edit this stay tuned for the next video and i'll show you guys how we kind of edit the actual template here and make it more of our own